A few years ago, the SAT changed and there are no longer analogies on the verbal section. People are arguing that means drilling for vocab is less important when preparing for the SAT GRE. What are your thoughts? You do hear that a lot from educators recently, that vocab is less important. Um, but the research shows that students that have a stronger vocab are the students that are performing better. Um, maybe you, you just hate memorizing word lists and, and that's why you kind of discourage other people from doing it, which is fine, but you're probably going to be shooting for a, a six something um, in the verbal section without a strong vocabulary rather than you know, the high 700s or a perfect 800, which if you're, if you're aiming for the top uh, is, is the score that you really want. Um, and if you think about it, you know, how are you going to answer a sentence completion question if you don't know what two of the key words in that sentence mean or what the word choices are? Or how are you going to answer a, a question on a critical reading passage where it says, you know, what was the meaning of the word punctilious in 918, in line 18, and you don't know what the word punctilious means? So having a strong vocabulary is really key. Uh, and the good news is that you actually can improve your vocabulary uh, in a decently short amount of time. Um, by using a tool that optimizes every minute of your study time um, and that lets you incorporate uh, vocab building into your daily life, whether it's on your mobile phone, whether it's right there in your browser. Um, and Brainscape provides a, a tool that, that uh, lets you do just that. And actually, SAT and GRE vocabulary are among uh, two of our best apps that we have out there. So I'd encourage people to check them out and improve your, your vocabulary for the SAT.